A gaming laptop often comes with a number of sacrifices. It is often not as powerful. If it is, then it does not offer as good thermal performance. I mean, if it offers that, then it is a big bulky machine, which is sort of difficult to lug around. But the latest Lenovo Legion 5i Pro shatters all these preconceived notions about gaming laptops. Now, full disclosure, this is my personal favorite laptop, particularly thanks to its chassis and its beautiful 16 by 10 aspect ratio display. And the best thing about this aspect ratio is that it provides you with a really immersive experience. And thanks to these thin bezels, the screen to body ratio is also very high. But one of the main reasons why I absolutely adore the Lenovo Legion Pro series is the inclusion of overclocked components. For example, last year's laptop came with a 3070 with a 140W TGP. This year, Lenovo is raising the bar a lot higher. With even the RTX 3060 GPU featuring a 140W TGP and this particular unit with an RTX 3070 Ti featuring a whopping 150W TGP, which is absolutely insane by laptop standards. Additionally, this year's unit also features a few key design changes and is probably one of the most powerful cooling setups on the market as well. You see, in a laptop, there's something called a sustained performance and it indicates the processing power of a CPU that it can deliver for a sustained period of time. Usually in every laptop, sustained performance figures are quite less compared to performance figures achieved during a one-off benchmark. But in the Lenovo Legion 5 i Pro, this no longer applies. A sustained 10-minute run of the Cinebench R23 benchmark gives us a score of 18,056. Meanwhile, a single run of the benchmark produces 18,156, which is almost the same, thus proving that the cooling on this machine is fantastic. It simply means that the thermal performance of the laptop is amazing, to say the least. Now, this does not mean that the CPU in this device is not throttling. You see, this machine is powered by an Intel Core i9 12900H 14 core 23rd CPU, which reaches close to its maximum operating temperature of 100 degrees, but quickly comes down from it as well. Overall, this CPU is very impressive. It is not producing the highest scores out there, but getting sustained performance figures not only makes this machine more powerful, but also more reliable, as you will always have a good idea of what this device is capable of and how much heat Heat it would produce. Speaking of heat, the surface temperature does reach as close to 48 degrees near the mid of the keyboard during intense gaming. However, the area around the WASD keys and the palm rest remain relatively cool. Furthermore, under the silent mode, the entire keyboard surface temperature does not exceed more than 38 degrees Celsius, which is pretty neat. Now, a hotter surface does not mean that the laptop is not functioning properly. This machine is packed with an Core i9 and an RTX 3070 Ti overclocked GPU. So both of these things will produce a lot of heat. So as long as the hot air is being removed from inside the chassis, you've got nothing to worry about. In terms of gaming though, this machine is an absolute beast. Now I have charts here for the 1200p gaming at high and medium preset as I found this to be a particularly sweet spot between outright graphical fidelity and performance. You can also easily run games at 1600p resolution at ultra settings and still get a very smooth frame rate as well. The display as I mentioned adds a ton to the gaming experience. It features a 165Hz refresh rate, a peak brightness of around 450 to 500 nits and a 100% sRGB color space coverage as well. Now this does not have a really good DCI-P3 color spectrum but a good mix of high contrast, resolution and brightness makes this a very punchy display to look at which is a win in my book. In terms of ports, the laptop is lined with two USB Type-C ports on left side, one of which is a Thunderbolt port, a USB Type-A and a 3.5mm USB jack on the right side. An HDMI, a Type-A, a USB PD Type-C port, an Ethernet jack and a fast charging Type-A port are also present on the back. A couple of more things about this laptop before winding it up. Uh, this machine has a MUX switch, meaning you can use it to enable the dedicated GPU mode, the hybrid GPU mode or let the system choose based upon your application. However, I found that choosing the dedicated GPU mode while gaming resulted in the highest possible performance. So whenever you are gaming, just go for that. Also in terms of keyboard and trackpad, this machine remains identical to last year's model. This is not a complaint because it was and still is a great keyboard with good key travel and is decently silent as well. So a culmination of all these things like good thermals, a great screen, overclocked GPU, high performance and high build quality makes the Lenovo Legion 5i a really good desktop replacement. 
However, sadly, this particular unit, one with the Core i9, is not available in India, but you can still get a Core i7 model with an RTX 3060 at a great price. It essentially has the same chassis and the design, only the chip is different. So, what do you guys think about it? Let us know in the comments below, and I will see you guys next time. Until then, if you like this video, please press the subscribe button. This was Jatnesh Dubey, and thank you for watching.